watching K9 Kate. I'm Kate and we are celebrating a very special milestone today because this is actually the birthday of one of the founders of Frank and Andy's Place. Happy birthday, Miss Penny. Thank you so much and I'm going to kill you for this. I really am. So we know that age is nothing but a number, but here at Frank and Andy's Place it actually does matter because you are helping senior dogs. Absolutely we are. Talk to me a little bit about that mission. So come on in and see what we got here. They've all been pulled from kill shelters, every single one of them. We kind of call it the empty bucket syndrome. They come to us as empty buckets, broken, beaten, abused, starved, whatever their, their history was. We fill them with love. So this is Andrea Bocelli. Um, what you will notice is every single dog here is named after a star. And that is because in their former lives, they were literally somebody else's trash. They were cast away. Here, they're celebrities. This is Tallulah Bankhead. Olivia Newton-John is over there. As soon as they get a purpose, they rise to the occasion. They just want to work. They want to be of use. Volunteers at Frankie and Andy's Place rehabilitate the dogs and then bring them out into the community. They visit with kids with disabilities and senior citizens, bringing them as much comfort as they bring the dogs. Look at her. She's, I know she's blind. I know she's deaf. But she has quality of life. She's got quality of life and she can bring quality of life to somebody else. They cook fresh food and vegetables for the dogs every day and every one of them has their own couch to sleep on. We have a whirlpool bath for them and everybody gets a whirlpool bath um, once a week and I know even the big guys will lift them up and put them in, we'll set the jets going. Everything just like a regular home, actually a bit better. But I was like going to say, they have yeah, a better than I do. a hotel for the rest of their life and they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. Why did you all choose to found this place? What was so important about the care of senior dogs to all of you? So I had, Penny was the one that introduced me to Frankie, which was, it's Frankie Nanny's place. And um, Frankie took over my life. It was me, 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 and then it's like, oh my goodness, I have to focus on him. And he changed not only my life, but all of our lives to the point where when he got older, we realized how much care they actually take, but how much they deserve. We created Frankie and Andy's because I feel like they're misunderstood. Also, they're the first ones to be thrown away. And as you can see from here, it's like they have more to teach us, more to give than, than we even deserve. Watching them come to life they teach us I, I feel privileged I feel like I don't deserve this I, I don't deserve what they give sometimes I think we become so myopic in our life we miss what's really happening around us and this they say stop they make you stop they make you look at the world around you and it, it's a better place a senior dogs like she talked about Frankie Andy was was my senior dog and he gave so much to me for my whole life so I think to give back to them is really important and you do, you make them feel like superstars. They're actually all named after stars. Talk a little bit about that. Every single dog has the name of a celebrity and it's literally, it's intentional because they were somebody else's trash. Somebody thought, I don't want that old thing in my house. Well, to us, we literally, we treat them like film stars. They live this five star life and you know, they need to be made to feel important. And so they're all named after celebrities. And of course we do hope that maybe George Clooney or Cher is going to say, gosh, let's just give you a million bucks and you can go and save another 25,000 dogs. But it's just, the whole thing is really, they've got to be celebrities. And so we do, we do that. We, we build them up as much as we can. Giving them purpose, I think it's interesting how all of them come as hospice. And we think, oh, they're going to last a couple days. They keep living and living and living <laughs> and purpose. <laughs> nope, we've got to go work today at the center. So it's amazing when you give them jobs, how they thrive. You know that song, Live Like You're Dying? Yes. That is really, it's the, it's the, the whole story behind what we do. Every day that they're here could be their last day on earth. And I have to say, it's actually been a bigger lesson for all of us involved, hasn't it? Yeah, it, has. it really has. It's just been, you know, they all have, they're in their final days and sometimes those final days stretch out quite a bit. But um, when they're here and they're, they're living their last days and they're just so thankful, so grateful, and so happy, it's like, wow, everybody should have that. How do you handle that here? Because it must be, I, it must be hard. It's very hard because we miss the dogs that pass on and they become such a huge part of our life. But honestly, we, we do see it as a very natural transition 
we're very lucky. We our, our veterinary partners at Gwinnett Animal Hospital are really good. They come out to the cabin, and it's this is probably going to make you cry, and I really don't want to do that. <laughs> but but the truth is, they come out to the cabin, and all of the people that have connected with that dog in a very special, special way. Um, sometimes that will be when Boris passes. There'll be probably thirty thousand people here. But normally there'll be about eight or ten people and we will all be around the dog. We try to put a blanket out on the ground if it's, um, if it's a lovely sunny day. We do it under a tree and everybody has a, a party with the cheeseburgers and everything first. And then the dog is told one by one, one, by one we all tell the dog how much they've meant to us how much, and I'm going to cry myself now, how much um, love they've brought to our lives and how they've been so valuable to the program. And then we all give them a kiss and then they go on their way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of special. It really it's is. It's so meaningful. Mm, it really is. We want them to feel that they were of absolute value to everybody that they touched. And every single one of them is. Every single one of them. I've been involved in rescue for 14 years here in Georgia and what I saw, everybody wanted the puppy. Everybody wanted a puppy, everybody wanted the cute, the chocolate box kind of dog. And these old dogs with all their wisdom, their kindness, their patience, nobody wanted them. It's a lot easier to adopt out a younger dog, hard, hard, hard to adopt out these older dogs, but that's actually, the, they're the diamonds that nobody sees as diamonds, but they are, they're incredible.